So in today's video, we're going to use the uh, Microsoft application compatibility toolkit, but uh, I'm going to install the Windows AD key, ADK. Uh, you see there are a few videos already uh, on this one. I wanted to create one uh, as a trial and error. Like uh, this channel is all about trial and error, what uh, you face. Uh, while doing it for the first time yourself and get the first hand experience i already tried the cdx i downloaded it my virtual machine is up so let's go and download the compatibility uh, or windows adk Win <coughs> let's go with the <coughs> god Google Windows ADK Windows ten. <coughs> so this one uh, by the date it looks is the pretty recent one only in a so we're gonna go with this one install the download in version nineteen oh three so that's one of we go with this one let's click on run rather than to save it and then run and hopefully it will install uh, this computer is fine <coughs> understand kids no except this is the one we want we don't want to uh, uh, check out of it volume activation management tool we should get everything windows assessment toolkit i think we got the uh, map already <clears throat> but we'll get to play with this media experience analyzer let's go and install oh it says 3.1 gb it's gonna take a little bit of time what I can do is I can pause the video here so you don't have to go through the uh, progress bar and when it's uh, near completion I can uh, show you so it's one person let's uh, pause the video here so through the process it installed a few of the like different ones oh it was at 78 percent for so long so I thought I should document it that it got hanged there or if anybody else is <laughs> looking at it stuck at a number uh, since it's a pretty big download and even though I have a hundred megabits per second connection if we can go to Ethernet which one is sending and receiving none all right so it's, it's something is happening so Ethernet Ethernet nothing much going on over here all right so I, I can keep an eye on that one that's done deployment tool launch the getting started guide we can do that so this is the worst new unit gets into windows performance analyzer windows system image ma system image manager no one issues Windows PE, WPT, Windows Performance Recorder, Retail Demo Experience. Power Config, Scrum to Okay, that's uh, going backwards. So only this thing is new. So Windows Performance Analyzer and Windows System Image Manager, an assessment toolkit, no toolkit, non issue. Let's go <coughs> and launch the good stuff. So if we go to Start Menu, Media Experience Analyzer, and everything. So what got installed new? <coughs> So offices by the way are right, was installed earlier and let's keep going. I can cl close that. 
voice recorder, weather leave, windows, administrative tools, accessories, <coughs> windows kits. That's new. And sticky notes, windows system. So word is new and this one is new. Let's go and f see what's there. <coughs> system image. Compatibility administrator. Okay. I wish I could make it bigger. <coughs> That's pretty much my limit, I guess. Yep. <coughs> so, these are the programs that are new. So I am downloading the <coughs> Microsoft Application Compatibility Toolkit uh, from CNET. Uh, so basically the reason is that there is a program in there that only runs in the Windows XP. If you can go here, you can see it's within the demo application. There is a demo application here. And right there, stock view or this one. <coughs> so basically we're gonna use that for the, um, because I tried find um, I tried to find uh, a program that runs only on the uh, XP. Uh, surprisingly, there was none. Like everything is either phased out and Google does not show it, or um, I found a few like CDX. I downloaded the XP, XP version, but surprisingly, it was kind of working. I did not try it. Like it's a like a music ripping thing. You see. That's why I don't I don't have any music to rip on my CD. I just wanted to give it give it, it to give me error. It did not. I tried uh, installing a few known XP games, <clears throat> but then it's a, like a maze. Uh, you have to hoop through the hurdles of uh, they basically demand money. So I was like uh, searching on it, and then when I found this, so I'm gonna go with this stock viewer thing. You can watch this video, but again, I'm making this video because that's the main purpose of our um, <coughs> uh, this channel is trial and error and get to face the situation firsthand. <coughs> so hopefully, I have that program now in there. Stock view right there. All right. So. It says you must be an administrator. Oh, it ran. Okay. <clears throat> it it reminded me of somebody when Windows. Uh, oh no, sorry. Uh, when iPhone first came, and it was a big kind of big deal. You see, if you remember that, it was like um, curved in the back. So somebody showed me, and he was very excited with his phone. And he was showing me Yahoo stock price and <laughs> it was just funny if you uh, I'm gonna just say that the way he was describing and how excited he was so this graph uh, reminded me of that day <clears throat> that was back in 2006 I believe seven eight something like that okay <clears throat> so this one is either working let's go forward can we do go choose a transaction basic customize go trend view oh okay it gave us the error enable to show trends can't create objects so apparently this oh yes I got the errors details <coughs> No, this is an attempt to continue. If you click quit, the application continue. Let's see what happens. So we got some errors here. Is there any settings? More options. Reports. Taxes. Planner. Nothing is working. I click. Oh, tools worked. Investing ETC not working. So let's go to option. Okay, another error. Class root so okay that's good oh I quit <clears throat> so that's good that's what I wanted uh, run program 
compatibility settings have been applied uh, let's see so basically I wanted to show you but okay quit all right so it didn't work <clears throat> so there are two ways uh, please exit I forgot the, why people hate uh, Internet Explorer and now Edge. <coughs> so basically, there are two ways you can actually go. Uh, right click, and now you have to go to the <coughs> file location. So there is another way. That is that you go click on properties and then you go to uh, compatibility mode right there. Run compatibility troubleshoot, or you can run as this this is how <clears throat> and if you know that the screen resolution that it runs in you can all run all that or run this program as an administrator <clears throat> so this is the one that we have been doing as a user for so long and we all know that uh, I have used a few programs that will not work in the later version or for that matter in Windows XP as well I think in Windows XP there was option yeah 98 and 95 so I remember doing that uh, there were some games especially if you uh, from growing up uh, we used to have that Sega Mega Drive if anybody know <clears throat> and there were some games that we enjoyed a lot and that was uh, about the time when the computers were having uh, Pentium ones or uh, 8386 <clears throat> so mm, I used those games on Windows XP through this compatibility mode <clears throat> like uh, I we had a CD and all that so now we're gonna run this through the we're gonna try to fix this one through Windows kits I think compatibility administrator is giving me 32 bit and 64 bit since my computer is 64 bit I go with this one <clears throat> mm, click new <laughs> no okay that was not it <laughs> create new application fix okay so can I close this control Z okay it's gone <clears throat> application fix name of the program to be fixed that is stock view uh, it was stock view right or viewer uh, we can put just talk <coughs> name of the vendor uh, do we know the name of the vendor uh, it's it uh, I cannot uh, like <coughs> minimize it so I'm gonna go with the um, let's say market how about that program file location I don't remember it mm, for that I have to go here right click more <coughs> open file location and I can also check the uh, details folder path owner system uh, general so there's no no uh, vendor name is not listed like the <coughs> the one who made it but uh, it's a C program data Microsoft Windows start menu nope that's not the detail C program file <coughs> uh, so you can see it's inside the demo application <coughs> so we can try to go to the C mm. is it in oh back if we click here like this it shows the <coughs> full path so basically see program data Microsoft Windows start menu it's still insisting to go there program data is not here <coughs> so I can either copy paste the entire link here or I can go nifty here and bring out the organizer folder options <coughs> where is those folder option when you need them right <coughs> <coughs> uh, 
program data can I click C program data it listed okay I just had to type it's a hidden folder that's why it's doing it um, then you have to go to application compatibility toolkit Microsoft application to compatibility toolkit and it's not listed there actually that is ah I'm looking at the wrong thing now go to open file location so now we get the exe <coughs> so exe is basically in program files x86 application compatibility toolkit <coughs> I'm sorry I'm <laughs> that's why trial and error is good we get to uh, do all this uh, silly stuff I was actually wondering that it should not be in, in start menu folder uh, compatibility nope again what the hell man this application compatibility x86 application compatibility toolkit x86 toolkit next one is come on 32-bit demo application demo application stock we are out oh. okay all right that's much better <clears throat> still I'm gonna go there <coughs> so basically our foundation was wrong this program that I'm running in 64-bit uh, and I was thinking because my Windows is 64-bit so I should run the 64-bit version no since the name applies compatibility so we have to run 32-bit one for 32-bit programs and 64-bit for 64-bit programs so I was doing it all along wrong now we have to go back <coughs> and Windows kits and 32-bit it will run now we're gonna go with the new application fix app help message compatibility mode application fix <clears throat> we're gonna name it stock uh, I again forgot the uh, name or stock view a uh, stock viewer not stock view I was thinking stock all right so you know uh, the path uh, I don't have to go again but it's already there so we click next <coughs> If you remember, I think this pro uh, run in Windows XP mode. Uh, basically, there are service pack one, two, three. Service packs were a big thing back then. Yeah, I remember. It's like a so. What else it asks? Do we remember? We can try to launch it again. Actually, let's see what it's asking administrator okay <clears throat> if we what did we we click to check for updates the request question requires elevation elevation simply means if you if you run powershell it asks you to elevate to the <clears throat> administ administrator right so i think that's it yeah system so what else was their favorites tools tools Oh, access to the register key and <clears throat> I saw a star somewhere show me a star what's that the application requires Windows XP okay so this is the most specific message we got that this should be run only on XP <clears throat> Microsoft did good with this uh, uh, demo app <clears throat> it is uh, gold in term of learning because uh, when you have to get an idea of this thing and without an active app that's not working you will not going to find it and nobody gonna put you in yours <laughs> in the system to mess up with the actual application in their uh, productive environment 
they can try to isolate a computer and then check it but that's obviously they will be doing it themselves and not you so what we have here six so basically all the option uh, the in the compatible info mode uh, when we right click and go to the properties it's there but it's like um, much more so we can do everything here I'm sorry my throat is uh, keep hurting so I have to pause the video and um, but uh, let's go and go to stock view run it one more time and run program conversion have been applied no close okay so you must be an administrator oh okay so let's go and see if we have the test run what happens test run application uh yeah waiting for application to finish it ran <clears throat> so oh run as admin run as highest gw run as invoker i don't want to mess mess with, mess with it but we got the run as admin message so that's what we're going to do with i'm just checking everything here like what are the options available installer so these are like I think that if you face a specific message like you go and read the details and then come fix it so I'm just gonna go because the when I test ran it it worked so I'm thinking that it's fixed I don't know anything about these compatibility fixes but these are the like uh, again you have to go with the uh, error message that you get read them if uh, of, of course basically <coughs> windows does everything for you if you run it in window in compatibility mode with the xp and if it's not it's still giving you some specific error you can go and come and search here so oh there are some check marks so basically when i, I think when we clicked it for run windows xp it uh, right there one more so it did the thing for us rather than to have uh, but it's like a full control that you get let's go add file remove file auto generate select all i'm not gonna mess with this one but this looks like the uh reg registry uh sorry registry entry and all that so let's finish it <coughs> uh, oh i think we're done i see it's stock gear here stock gear stock can i save it should I save it I already have new database I'm gonna again name it stock just in case my hard work goes to Wayne okay so this is the file file name again stock one let's do this or stock fix <coughs> save so this thing it changes name the uh, new database uh, Am I saved? Fix for a program application fix. Okay, I think this one is done. <coughs> so I think we're done here. Um, I am really want to try it out and see, but. Uh, you, uh, still maybe let's go refresh it I closed that earlier now go to stock viewer still an error okay I'm gonna search it how to like uh, totally fix it I'm gonna pause the video here so I dug around and I found this one that uh, if it's uh, basically you have to run this command from the uh, command prompt and against the uh, application sorry that fix uh, database so what it does is it's adds into your computer so let's do that I wish I could do it by side by side <coughs> so let's run CMD uh, <laughs> where did we fire save that file STB 
store.stb it should be <coughs> this video is a mess right <coughs> let's go documents map In, oh this is the assessment that we did last night okay uh, sample it should be in documents no C where was where is that one saved oh is this the one no cancel yes that was Microsoft application compatibility uh, this one 32 bit <coughs> this was can't run on Windows what's <laughs> CDX compatibility administrator man stop working windows gets oh it was this one 32 bit okay <clears throat> all right there so now what am I fix this application I think it did not get saved <clears throat> customized custom databases yes I think that's what happened uh, we forgot to save it I think I did I named it stock.stb let me do a quick search stock dot sdb was it <coughs> no it was stock fix dot sdb All right, let's quickly create a new one application fix. Go with the stock uh, market. We go browse it. <coughs> stock beer. Uh, next, run this for Windows XP. <coughs> run as admin. Next. Next. Finish. It's right there. Applications. I'm going to save it stock fix one just in case uh, okay it's under demo application the same <coughs> link but this time for the sake of uh, quick access I'm gonna save it in documents so let's save it in document stock fix <coughs> all right so it was there I just could not find it so it should be under here I believe can I go s stock Samsung oh look at the list ST SDR ST stronghold strike so ST auto ST so nothing here so I don't know where like how you can fix your own but anyway since it's there let's go with this one so basically you have to run the stb inst command uh, that is this one stb inst.exe and this one is where you want to run it uh, um, like if you put these uh, forward slash and uh, question marks it gives you everything like all uh, the 
parameters you can run so I'm gonna go with the or switches so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run just the file name uh, the file location let's go let's see stbinst.exe I believe it's it's in C drive right backslash <clears throat> basically let's uh, dir cd documents dir and right there uh, stock fix if you can see stock fix dot stb so basically I have to put uh, user my name then documents and this file is right there so cd where were we when we ran the first thing we were in imron okay <clears throat> oh i can cd imron right so the first time we ran we were in imron so we can run it from there we can try to run it from there so let's go um, and you see it's just document so we're gonna run uh, sdbinst.exe c backslash man uh, users slash imran slash documents slash s uh, What's the file name right there? Stockfix.sdb. And hopefully, application can be database installer. It gives us a prompt. I think it's working. So, with CMD, the thing is that if you don't get an error message on the prompt, prompt, command prompt itself, it's mean the, um, um, the command executed. So, it should be working. Oh, okay. Yes. Do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? So, no error code there that was saying. Okay, let's see if we can go check for updates. Oh, it's checking. Wow. Yeah. All right. So, we're back. It's working. Reports. I think these are just uh, like once we do something here, then it's going to, these going to come. But there was something oh yes options can we does not have options okay so we getting we are getting this program um, basically in a compatibility mode and it's being run fine oh wow what's that that was stupid <laughs> so I'm not gonna do the update thing <clears throat> so uh, it worked I'm very happy I'm glad uh, it was fun uh, even those are kind of a little bit frustrating between uh, here and there but this thing helps you to remember how did you do that and the way the reason I make videos is that uh, <clears throat> later on I can come back to my video fall back to video and see exactly what happened like the others videos the other people's videos they are good uh, I uh, I watch them and I um, get an idea especially this one that this guy uh, he did uh, like uh, he messed with all the other things uh, that I did not dare to right now like I said that if we get an error specific then we can go but he did that <clears throat> I watched those videos but uh, they can they can read their video their account gets suspended something like that so that's why I'm making my own and it's a uh, like uh, my own um, what you say documentation that yeah I, I did everything I did my home lab and all that <clears throat> so i'm very excited that this worked i have never used this uh, tool before uh, there was bumps uh, in this video uh, worked correctly okay yes so uh, we could easily go with that uh, right click thing uh, again i have to go let's go here yeah
like uh, we could go to that uh, cancel come on so basically what we could do is what we could easily do the I'm gonna go with this one so open file location then open the actual <coughs> not the that was the link location so we could easily go with the this one but you see if I run it from here like this and do this this is only for this one PC and at a, like I said that in my floor there are 200 computers and everybody is using this program am I going to walk to each one of them and do it that's uh, not uh, very efficient right so with this application toolkit is that you can make a fix and then deploy it across the board uh, this is very important for one more reason like you have a software that you've been using and now Microsoft has ended the support for for example Windows 7 it's working fine in Windows 7 but it's not on Windows 10 you want to upgrade to Windows 10 but the only thing standing in your way is that software not being compatible and the vendor wants to charge you money for that and you don't want to pay for that because it's too expensive or you cannot afford it so this this thing comes into play that uh, uh, you can get this fixed and run your operation smoothly um, I am gonna end this video now if this video has helped you in any way uh, please rate comment like and subscribe uh, thank you and I see you in the next video hopefully uh, office 365 one